Good morning. How's everyone? Uh, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, I was just looking at the uh, first successful flight yesterday. Um, what's this guy's name? Ranford or something? Guy who owns Virgin uh, Airlines. He uh, he made a successful space flight, and that's good. That's very inspirational. I think it's uh, I think it's good that we're going to be able to. Um, travel into space and go on uh, go on vacation, you know, into the outer realms. And that kind of brings me to um, something that we're going to be experimenting with um, in this coming year. And yeah, experimenting, which when I say experimenting, I mean on me, on myself, unless anyone would like to participate with me. And that is the OBE, the out of body experience. Yes, I would like to experiment um, with uh, inducing an out of body experience. Now, this has been done before. It's been done many times before. Uh, it's practiced pretty regularly by the folks at the Monroe Institute. I highly uh, recommend you um, look up Mr. Bob Monroe and the Monroe Institute. Um, the Monroe Institute, uh, actually, Mr. Monroe, he passed away in 1996, unfortunately, but um, he invented uh, what is called binaural beats. Binaural beats is a technique of inducing a particular frequency into the brain by playing one tone in one ear and a tone that is very close to that, but not exactly the same frequency in the other ear. And what happens is the brain tries to interpret both of those sounds the same. It's a survival mechanism. It's just like if you were to be walking down the street and um, a car drives past you and honks the horn and, and you hear, bah, bah, right? And you know that the reason the sound uh, the pitch of the sound is going down is because as the car is traveling away from you, the sound waves are reaching you at an increasingly longer uh, period of time. Um, but your mind can, your, you know, your brain can interpret that. We hear in stereo just like we see in stereo. And so that's kind of a survival mechanism for us. So if you play, for example, a 400 hertz tone in the right ear, hi Camille, and a 410 hertz tone in the left ear, okay, what you're going to hear is eventually going to sound like, woo, 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 woo. It's going to sound like a wavering tone between the two frequencies. And that's because your brain is going to be creating the difference. 400 hertz, 410, you're going to be inducing a 10 volts, which is an alpha wave to the brain. And that's a technique that uh, Bob Monroe mastered a long time ago. Like I said, I highly recommend you go to YouTube and look up Bob Monroe and the Monroe Institute. And, um, you know, you'll see that million mile stare that he had in his eyes. Um, but he has taken and the people that are uh, with the Monroe Institute have taken several out of body experiences. What I find interesting is that um, the people at the Monroe Institute are also in support of quantum gravity theory which is a new attempt at finding a theory of everything. Um, I also recommend you check out the E8 lattice or the, the E8 theory or quantum gravity theory. There are a lot of videos about this. Um, this is something that's being studied but the uh, here in California. But the E8 people and the Monroe Institute people are pretty much in, uh, in agreement about uh, what uh, reality or this dimension or what we call reality is made of. And that's something that I find very interesting. Me, I have a personal interest in it. Now, I'm not, I'm not offering this, I'm not offering out of body experiences as a, as a, a, a treatment <laughs> or as a service here at the Biomed RX Health Center, not yet. Not until I can master it myself. But I do intend on um, doing some self experimentation. This is, the Mind Alive David, okay? This was designed by a good friend of mine, Mr. Dave Siever up in Canada. And um, it, the Mind Alive devices are very good. They're brain entrainment devices. Uh, it combines um, 
light, sound, and most importantly, CES, cranial electrotherapy stimulation. CES is a technique that uses a very mild pulse of electricity delivered through these ear clips and uh, it helps stimulate the production of serotonin and norepinephrine and epinephrine and all of your endorphins in, in a perfect balance. Um, it is very good in and of itself as a brain tre a, a treatment, brain training device. It's good for overcoming traumatic brain injury. It's good for overcoming PTSD. If you look up CES therapy, cranial electrotherapy stimulation, um, on YouTube, you'll find a lot of videos, some videos from the Department of Defense um, uh, trying to get the government to make these devices uh, a standard issue for our troops that are going into the combat areas because they're noticing that with CES, our troops are able to uh, withstand the stress of combat, deal with PTSD, and even deal with um, bad news from home while they're fighting in the combat situation and still outperform the, their, their, their you know, contemporaries. But I say all that to say this, I'm going to be uh, purchasing another uh, software with which uh, to, to create special protocols. Like uh, the Mind Alive David comes with five different protocol categories and five different uh, training, uh, training types within categories, right? Within the categories. We have energize, meditate, brain boost, sleep, and mood boost, right? We can actually induce happiness with this device. Well, I would like to combine the uh, um, frequency work that was put together, the binaural beat work that has already been created by Mr. Bob Monroe and the Monroe Institute um, to induce out of body experience and that can be done just with sound that can be done just with binaural beats the monroe institute put together cocktails of uh sound of binaural beat you know sounds that that can accomplish a number of tasks they can even make you proficient at a particular job or proficient at a particular sport okay if if uh if that's something that you would like to do and um they also made the binaural beats so that, you know, you could actually leave your body. You could actually have an out-of-body experience. You can actually float up and look down and see your body. I haven't done this yet, but I do intend on doing it, and I do intend on doing it soon. I intend on doing it because I have the uh, – oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um Sure, yes, it might be helpful to put your company name, phone number, and website on the video. I will do that right now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yes, let's go to www.biomedrx.com. See if I can type that up for you. And then we can go www.biom. BDRX Health Center. Um, there you go. Uh, so anyway, if you'd like to try uh, to take an out-of-body experience and uh, participate in these experiments, I'm 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 really glad to help to have people come along. Uh, of course, I'm going to have you sign a waiver because if you fly out of your body and don't come back. Uh, hey, I can't be held responsible. Oh, yeah. By the way, um, if you uh, hear about a neurohacker in California who was found dead in his neurofeedback chair, then I guess the experiment didn't work. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, hopefully it will work. I have the audio. I have the complete audio from uh, the Monroe Institute. I, I am in possession of the what they call the gateway experience, uh, which is uh, the, 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 the introduction to out-of-body experience. I'm going to talk about how I'd like to do this. I'm using neurofeedback, okay? And I'm also using this device, uh, the Mind Alive David, 
Um, I can put together, I will try to create a special protocol with the David so that uh, perhaps we can try to induce the out of body experience with the David. And if not, um, what I will do is alpha theta neurofeedback, uh, which is a particular type of neurofeedback. There's no visual feedback. There's only auditory feedback just through the headphones and um, layer it with the audio of uh, the out of body experience or the gateway experience for the um, Monroe Institute. Now, can't do it this morning because Kai is in Saturday school and I have to go and pick my son up at noon, which means I'm going to be walking out of here at about 11. And, uh, and my clients um, that were coming this morning, they postponed their treatment until, uh, until Monday morning. But uh, yeah, if anyone, if any of you would like to participate in the out of body experience or the out of body experience experiments here at uh, the Biomed RX Health Center, then by all means inbox me. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to be going live, not with every session, because we, you know, in Alpha Theta, neural feedback is done in a dark room in the first place. So the video is not going to really look that good. The quality is not going to be that good. And um, I don't know if anyone wants to sit down and watch me lie down with my eyes closed. So, you know, that's, that, that's, I, I, I will probably do better to do the experiments and then come back and give you uh, a, a briefing on, on what each experience was like. But I've had the, um, the audio files from the Monroe Institute for quite a while, and I haven't used them yet. Okay. And, uh, now that, uh, now that we are ready to fly into outer space, David, David Adlerstein, my best friend, David Adlerstein just joined. How you doing, David? Um, the, uh, now that uh, we're ready to do space travel, now we're ready to travel into space, well, I'm ready to do the out-of-body experience uh, experiment. And uh, like I said, we're going to be trying it with a custom. I'm going to talk to my friend Dave Seaver up in Canada and see if I can uh, create a custom um, protocol utilizing the frequencies that were already given to us by the Monroe Institute in the David. And then I'm going to layer the audio files from the Monroe Institute while uh, doing alpha theta neurofeedback to myself. And, uh, and I'm going to see. I'm going to see what I can do. I'm not afraid anymore. You know, I always figured, hey, you know what? If I flew out of my body and then turned around and saw my body, that I'd have a heart attack. And then I really would die. And then no one would know if it were the experiment or, or where it was. But I have a call. I'm going to handle this. And uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Biomedorex Health Center. This is Devin. May I help you?